Good morning. Welcome back to How to Make a Quilt from Square One, Episode 2. And if you were here while we were making the other episodes, I wish I had one of those things like this that say Take 2 because it would say Take 812 because that's how many times we've taken this video. So we're not going to have an 813 whatever happens happens on this video. But last episode, this is what we started with. This was the pattern. I mean the book. This is the pattern that we picked. We have the books, we have the patterns, we have the rotary cutters, we have the cutting mat, in a fabric, anything you need for a quilt, we have it in the shop. But this is the one we decided on. So this is what we're doing. And last time, if you'll remember, we had um, all the patterns cut for this one roll, one roll wonder was the name of the pattern, but we had all these white pieces already cut to 10 and a half inch strips. So now the pattern, the next step is telling me to cut it into two and a half strips. This whole 10 and a half, half inch with the fabric, piece of fabric, we're going to cut into two and a half inch strips. And I'm trying to go from square one on all of these. So if, if there's a lot of non quilters out there, you can do this too. Don't want you to have any questions. So if I'm too detailed, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to make sure everybody can follow. The first thing I do when I get my fabric, let's come down to the fabric, is I don't need this selvage. So I'm gonna cut this selvage off. And you'll see other people doing uh, things other ways. Whatever works for you, works for you. But this is the way that works for me. So this is the way we're doing it. So here's my 10 and a half. It goes from 10 and a half this way. Now I need it to cut according to this pattern. It says right here to cut them two and a half inch strips. So I'm gonna line this up with my two and a half, one, two and a half. So two and a half, and I'm gonna cut. And there's one strip. And I'm gonna keep going with that until I've finished all of these white pieces that we'd already cut in the last episode. And don't worry, I've already cut some, so we're not going to cut them all. I won't bore you that bad. At least I hope I don't. But I'm going to cut the whole thing, lining it up with my two and a half inch line on this ruler. If I cut it all the way through, it would really be nice. Lining it up on my ruler. And there's my extra. And there's my strips. So you see all these strips, and then here's what I had already cut. So here's my two and a half inch strips. The next step it tells me in this pattern, in this book, is to take my jelly roll, which is also two and a half. Jelly rolls are 42 strips formed into a roll, but they're two and a half inch strips wide. See, that matches that. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut the end of this off too. A lot of people don't do this, that's fine. I just do, cause I want it, well, I want it straight, but I cut it crooked. So let's fix that without taking 813 takes. There we go. Throw that in the trash. Then I'm gonna take, it says it needs six I mean, uh, yeah, six rectangles of two and a half by six. Well, we know this is two and a half. So this is gonna be our six and a half. We're gonna line the six and a half inch line right there. And we're gonna cut. And this little thing on my ruler right here is called a gypsy gripper. And it's basically, I can hold this and know that my fabric is not gonna move because I'm putting pressure on that gypsy gripper. So then I'm going to do this with all of my strips. You don't have to cut your ends off if you don't want to. That's just how I've always done it because I want to make sure it's straight. So six and a half. I hope this is making sense. If not, leave me a comment. And like and subscribe to our channel by the way but like this video and leave me a question or anything that you think i need to do just let me know put it in the comments whatever you need to do i'll help you any way i can this right here says 
after we've cut these uh, pieces, we're now going to join them and sew them together. So we're going to do that next time. So take all of your white that you've now cut into two and a half inch strips. You've got all of these jelly roll pieces that you're cutting into these pieces. That's your, that's your next step. We've got the book. We've got the rotary cutters. We've got the gypsy grippers, the rulers, the fabric, whatever you need. We've got it on our website. We've got it in our store. We'll ship whatever you need. Just let us know. We're here to help. And you can call us. You can text us. You can Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, YouTube, whatever you want to do. Just contact us if we can help you. And there you have it. See you next time.